What is going on guys? Welcome back to the Manchester United career mode with me, Drakesy Does. This is episode 14 of all of the episodes in the series. If you haven't seen the previous episodes, I would recommend going checking them out if you have a bit of spare time. If not and you do want to just carry on from here, it's no problem at all. But last episode I left off by saying that if you left any comments I would try and respond to them as the transfer window I believe will open this episode. And the first comment I did get in and that I'm going to respond to is this comment on your screen as we can see from Mikel Crossman, a regular viewer on the channel, and he says swap to a 4-2-3-1 and play Mata or Rooney in the centre attacking mid formation. So let's get to that straight away. So guys, as we can see we are here in the team selection place and as we can see there are two 4-2-3-1 formations. So I'm going to check them both out and then see what they actually look like. So this is the A formation as we can see you're starting with three centre attacking mids, you're starting with one striker, you're starting with two CDMs and then a normal back line. But if we go for this one over here as we can see it's much more of a wider approach, possibly a better approach for a wider set team. So we're probably going to go with this team. So as you can see I have selected the lineup, I've added also some kind of instructions towards the team by saying keep the centre backs back and then keep the wingers pushing up forward. I've not added the instructions but the instructions I believe that he wanted me to add were very attacking. This is obviously like I said I'm going to try what you guys said. So he actually asked for me to go very attacking. I believe he asked for my passing style. I think he said keep that the same. Keep my tackling style normal. Attack down both flanks. Let's keep it mixed. Um, and then pressing should be own half. So as you can see, these are the selections he's asked me to keep. And this is what we're going to keep for this episode. Play a few games like this. And if it's not working out, then be sure for you to comment a formation below. Maybe we will use it. Okay, so guys, if you did notice in the comments, he did actually say to us, use either Mata or Rooney and the centre attacking mid formation team thing uh, and we've gone with Mata and the reason why I've gone with Mata is because the transfer window is very fast approaching and just to show you quickly I didn't realise how many of you actually want Rooney to leave showing up this comment here from Mikel Crossman the guy who asked for this team an earlier comment said sell Depay and Rooney for Herman and Royce we covered that last episode but as you can see he wanted us to sell Roy, uh, Rooney sorry. Then another comment here from another player, uh, another, sorry, another viewer, Hans Gaming said, sell Rooney and buy Goetze and Tielmans. So as you can see, another person wanting us to sell Rooney. And then as you can see, yep, this one here from Conal Kingshot, he said sell someone big and potentially go in for the player Maratta. He got up to a 95 rating. So as you can see, these three people do want somebody big to leave the club. Two of them asking for Rooney to leave, so it might be time for Rooney to leave the club. He has been doing well for us recently, but he's getting old. So as you can see, we are on Wayne Rooney's profile. He is now 31 and he is 92 rated, but in fact, we have now got him up on the transfer list. We did have him up last transfer window and we had a few offers in for him, but we turned them all down. Uh, but now he is up and when the transfer window comes around, we'll try and sell him on. A player that has been suggested to me to be bought by two different viewers and that is going to be the player Alvaro Morata. So as we can see he is 90 rated playing for Real Madrid at the moment. The two viewers asking me to buy him are going to be once again Conal Kingshot's comment from earlier on that I just showed you. When he says sell somebody big and buy Morata he's up to the 95 rating for me. So it looks like this is a guy that we definitely want to get in the team. But to further back up that, another regular commenter on the show, um, M Skills. I think that's M Skills. Correct me if I am wrong. I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. But as we can see, he said by Morata uh, from Real Madrid, he always scores in the 88th to 89th minute for me. So two people really want this guy into the club, and that's enough for me to try and sign the player. So I'm going to go ahead and try and put an offer down. As we can see, Morata here is 51.21 million meaning that he is relatively cheap for his rating and age, only 24 years old. But I can see Real Madrid coming back with an offer saying he's worth a lot more than that. But for now, we're going to put down an offer of his value. And then if they come back with another offer from there, we'll see where we can go with it. Okay, so obviously, as you can see, 
clicking this and it says we do not have the money to place down a bid on this player. So that is a bit embarrassing. I totally forgot that here we only have 7.24 million. So when we have the funds, we'll definitely sell on a few players and see if we can buy him. But for now, we're just going to add him to shortlist. To wrap up a few more players that have been mentioned to us, another player that was mentioned is going to be Yuri Tielmans. So we're going to add Yuri Tielmans to our shortlist as well. Here are the comments of people suggesting us to buy him. So as you can see, Hans Gaming once again came up and he said, by Goetze and Tielmans as we showed you before but as you can see here he also mentioned Goetze so let's go and check out Goetze. Here we are Mario Goetze 93 rated that's incredible stuff fingers crossed we can try and buy him but for now we're just going to add him to shortlist. And here we come to the final suggestion from one of the viewers and that's going to be from the user Anconsi. Correct me if I'm saying your name wrong once again, but as we can see, that last player suggestion is Max Meyer, a very, very good youngster, only valued at 8.25 million, and he's 88 rated at 21 years old. That's pretty good rating. To think he's three years younger than Alvaro Morata, and only two ratings below him, he could potentially become a world-class player very, very soon if he joins Manchester United. So as we can see the next game has rolled up and we are in fact playing big title rivals at the moment, Tottenham Hotspurs. As we can see some pretty big games are going on for big team wise but they're not against really big opponents like Chelsea are playing Liverpool, Man City, all big teams fighting for the top places in the Premier League but not really against big opponents as we speak. We're in fact playing at White Hart Lane and their best players at the moment Tottenham's best players, that is, are Toby Arden Vila, a fantastic defender, Harry Kane, Hugo Lloris and Jan Vertonghen, all 92 rated, that's incredible. But in fact, we're better on form as Tottenham lost their last game. As we know at the beginning of the episode, I did in fact pick this brand new team so we don't have to make any changes to it. As we can see, they're lining up with a very, very strong team indeed as well. So come on Manchester United, let's get this win. And the game is underway with Tottenham kicking off. So as we can see we're in the box, Thiago's got the ball and I think it went straight to Hugo Lloris. That is a bit of a shame, nothing came of that. And as we can see it's a long ball up to Harry Kane but luckily I think our defence is getting in there. Smalling has failed him, fingers crossed it is only a yellow card. It's only five minutes away, yep it's only five minutes away from half time but it's not good going into half-time nil-nil. So as we can see, that is probably one of the most boring first halves ever in football. Nothing comes of it and there were only two real highlights and one of the highlights was a shot at goal and the other was Chris Smalling's tackle. So as we can see, we've swapped a few players around in positions. We've brought Martial up into striker. We've winged Mata out from the centre out to the wing. And then as we can see, we've brought Rooney in in place of Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Fingers crossed if Rooney scores this game, he can win some morale back and fingers crossed prove some of the doubters wrong. As we can see, the second half is getting underway anytime soon. Da, 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 da. There we go, so the match is underway. So it looks like a long ball up from Lloris. Is that a dirty tackle? The referee's taking action against Martial. Please only be a yellow. Please only be a yellow. It is a yellow, but it looks like Martial might have to come off. Come on, it's an attack by Manchester United. Matter up to Martial, onto Thiago, onto Rooney. Rooney shoots the ball and it's straight at Lloris. It's not really helping his credibility at the moment. People wanting me to sell him and he's not scoring. As you can see, Harry Kane's moving up the pitch and Pogba's coming in with a dirty foul from behind. Looks like this could be a third card for Manchester United. And it's a straight red for that tackle. This is the last thing we needed against Tottenham. So as you can see, I've changed up the team. I've put Rooney up into striker and got rid of our centre attacking mid. So we're now playing without a centre attacking mid. I've brought on Carrick and pushed him back into the centre defensive mid role and had to sub off Martial. And I've also swapped off Smalling for Syracuse because Smalling was on a yellow and I can't risk another red in this match. So our substitutions are being brought on as we can see right now. Fingers crossed they have an impact and that is a good impact for us, not against us. 
Coming up to the end of the match now, as we can see, we're in the 89th minute, 90th minute, and nothing happens at all. To be honest, I'm not actually that annoyed with that result. A nil-nil against Tottenham, who are top of the table, I believe, at the moment. If they're not top, then they're definitely second. They're above us at the standings at the moment. But 77 minutes, we went down to 10 men, and we had to do some pretty drastic substitutions. So to be honest, I'm pretty happy with that result. As we can see elsewhere in the Premier League, Chelsea didn't manage to pull a win, Man City pulled a win of 2-0 against Bournemouth and then Liverpool also won. So quickly we're going to check the tables as we can see, we're only one point behind Manchester City, no, um, we're only two points behind Chelsea and as we can see we slowed down Tottenham by not letting them get the win over us today. So we've done pretty well, done pretty well. As we can see, the manager of the month has come out and Slavin and Bilic has got it in the Premier League. The team of the month has come out and let's have a look. Luke Shaw's managed to get in there, fantastic for him, for us. Juan Mata's managed to get in there as well. And that are, those are the only players from our team. Fingers crossed, Dejan Lovren got player of the month, so sadly we didn't win that. Um, and Victor Fisher got young player of the month, so sadly we didn't get that either. But as we can see... The transfer window is open guys, it's pretty interesting stuff now, so let's see what we can do. Arsenal versus Everton is the matchup today, I'm thinking it's going to be an Arsenal win. Yep, it was a drastic Arsenal win against Everton, 3-0, it's pretty, pretty, it's a steep, steep number. So as we can see, we've got a bid for the out of favour Bastian Schweinsteiger. To be honest, it looks like he is coming up to the end of his career at Manchester United in real life. And to be honest, I'm kind of insulted by the offer, but let's say the offer was too low. Let's go for 3,500 because to be honest, this guy is still pretty good. As you can see, the Youth Academy prospect Callum Randall has been promoted to the senior squad. Um for your assessment so let's have a look so as we can see this Callum Randall who has apparently been pushed up to the first team um, probably never going to use him he's only 70 rated we'll add him to the loan list for definite though the next match in the Premier League is going to be Burnley Stoke I'm going to go with a Burnley shock win 2-1 oh no never mind don't ever think that I'm going to get the scores right in those as we can see, Sevilla have in fact come back to the offer we put down for Bastian Schweinsteiger and they're willing to pay 3,500, sorry, 3 million, 3.5 million let's say, 3.5 million. To be honest, it's higher than his value and he is now 32 years old, so let's accept that bid and say tata to Bastian Schweinsteiger. As we can see, Bastian Schweinsteiger has accepted personal terms offered to him by Sevilla, has passed his medical and he's moved on to a new club. Goodbye, Bastian Schweinsteiger. Ooh, now this is interesting. Manchester City have approached Sal Niguez, one of our, one of our potential wants on our shortlist. And as we can see, they've offered 30 million. We don't have that kind of money at the moment. We only have 11 million. Um, so if they manage to get him, that's potentially a very, very good young player gone. As we can see, our next matchup in the Premier League is against Stoke. And as we can see, the other matches played today are Liverpool-Burnley. These are the big matches, I would say. Uh, Man City versus West Ham. Chelsea versus Southampton. Ooh, the big rivalry though has to be the London derby that is just probably the most heated rivalry in London I would probably say and that's Arsenal Tottenham. As we can see our main man to watch for us is going to be our favourite Paul Pogba highest rated player for us just just love him to bits um, and Stokes is going to be Wilfred Borne, uh, Mare, Mare Biram Juf, I believe that's who it is, uh, Joe Allen and Marco Arnautovic. Okay apparently Pogba is suspended but he was our man to watch if that makes any sense. So once again, sticking with the formation and the tactics that were suggested to us by one of the commenters. And as we can see, they've gone for a very, very similar team indeed. In fact, they've gone for their A formation. I believe Tottenham went for that formation as well. So it might be a bit of a counteractive formation, but fingers crossed we do win. As we can see, match has kicked off. 
So the first highlight from the game, Thiago passes it on to Mkhitaryan, on to Martial, through to Carrick and Carrick scores a goal. Fantastic stuff from Michael Carrick, a man that we had to sub in because Paul Pogba is on suspension. Carrick on the ball again, feeds it through to number 9 Martial, Martial dinks it in, that's an assist and a goal for Michael Carrick, a man that's only in for Pogba, it's madness, Martial on the ball, Martial passes it on to Rooney, Rooney through and then Rooney off the cross, the, the pole, sorry, the woodwork and then into the net, 3-0 up, everything's just started happening instantly guys, I don't know where it's come from, Martial in the box again, across the goal and into the bottom left hand corner, we're only in the 18th minute and it's 4-0 up, I don't know where this came from. As we can see the next highlight, but it looks like it is a highlight for Stoke. Arnautovic pushing on through, cross into the box and Borne gets his very, very tall stature into the game and bangs, I can only guess, a header. Sadly, Luke Shaw has been injured. This is not what we wanted to see just before half-time. Is a bit of a shame, but we're going to have to sub him out. Luckily, we have just the man to replace him, and that's going to be Marcus Rojo, a fantastic defender. So we have just got to half time. To be honest, I'm pretty happy with the team so far. Nobody's very low on fitness, but if we do get a bit low in fitness later on in the game, we'll make some subs. So the second half is underway, and as we can see, Arnautovic is deadly from that left wing, crossing a ball in, but De Gea's there to stop it. We're now at the 75th minute, we're going to make two substitutions just to sub off some players and work from there. As we can see, we're going to bring off two of the man of the matches so far, if that makes any sense. Two of our favourite players so far this game, Anthony Martial with a 10 rating and Michael Carrick with a 10 rating as well. Both players done really well, but we're going to bring on Herrera and the big man up top, Ibrahimovic, fingers crossed just to play out the game. Just played out the game and as we can see looking at some of these, Anthony Martial wins man of the match. A fairly evenly rated game overall in possession. You know, not too that far off but the score says otherwise as we can see. Two goals, two assists for Martial. Goal and assist for Carrick. Goal for Rooney. Fantastic stuff. As we can see, Tottenham beat their big rival Arsenal in the rivalry and it's incredible stuff. Everton not doing too well at all, getting beat by Sunderland. Swansea have a big win as well. Uh, Chelsea only managed to get a draw. Man City managed to get a 4-0 victory over West Ham. Now, I do believe that puts us in the table. Oh, nearly. We're on par with Chelsea. I thought that got us above them. Uh, but no, in fact, we're on par with them at the moment. As we can see, Luke Shaw's injury is not as bad as we thought it was going to be. He's only going to be out for about four days. So, yeah, that's not too bad. As you can see, guys, it looks like Man City are going to capture Sal Niguez, one of my favourite players in real life at the moment. I think he's a fantastic player. They signed him for £30 million, And to be honest, at the moment, we just can't compete with that. Um, Atletico Madrid are yet to accept or decline, but they're probably going to accept. Youth promotion player as well from the academy, Joel Mario, apparently has been promoted to the first team. So quickly, let's go and check out Joel Mario. As we can see, he is in fact a 75 rated, very, very young player, once again at 19 years old. Probably going to add him to the loan list. So guys, I'm not happy at the fact that in fact our rivals Man City are scooping up players that we probably could have got if we had a bit more money. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is try and put down an offer for Yori T. Elmans, one of the players that we were told to go and buy. He's a centre mid so he'll kind of be the replacement for Bastian Schweinsteiger and he's only 19 years old and he's 87 rated. Now this is probably far too cheap, but to be honest, it is in fact his value, so it's a good place to start off. I really don't want to overplay, overpay for some players when we've only got 12 million. So we'll propose the offer and see what they say back to that. So as we can see, Anderlecht have rejected our bid of 4.5 million from your from Manchester United for Yuri T. Um, they think that he's worth a lot more than that. To be honest, he really is worth a lot more than that. So let's try and offer a bit more than that. We're going to offer 7.5 million. Let's see what they say to that. The Yuri T. Elmans bid of 7.5 has been rejected again. It's understandable. We'll try a bit more. 10.5 million maybe. But before we can get a response from that, we've got some more matches in the Premier League. Fingers crossed the out of favour Everton at the moment can get an astonishing win over the big rivals at the top of the table, Tottenham. Then we've got Arsenal who are kind of up near the top. 
but fingers crossed Liverpool, believe it or not. If Liverpool can beat City, I'll be pretty happy. To be honest, I really, really dislike Liverpool being a United fan, but I would rather them beat City than, you know, City keep on topping us at the moment. As we can see, Tottenham got a draw against Everton. That's a pretty good result, but City did get a big win over Liverpool. So guys, we're going to end at this point here. Sal Niguez has signed for Man City. So this got this has got to be a pushing force through for us to get some big name players into the squad. I hope you have enjoyed this. I hope you can understand the fact that we are low on money at the moment. Therefore, it's pretty hard for me to try and sign some of the players. We've had no offers from other teams for our players so far. So fingers crossed you have enjoyed this episode. If you have, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that goodness. And be ready for next episode um, when we're going to try and sign some more players.